Next week, by Monday and Tuesday, back into the 90s. Riley, thanks. A chiropractic adjustment sends a recent Georgia Southern grad to the ICU. Ooh, Amy Cole has more on how that happened and what the road to recovery may look like. That morning, we were up and talking to her before work. You're talking to her, and then 30 minutes later, you know, she's in the hospital and now in the ICU. Caitlin Jensen's brother, Caleb Johnson, says June 16th is a day the family won't forget. Her family says she visited a chiropractor for an adjustment and left with four dissected arteries. She's able to open her eyes every now and then and wake up a little bit and kind of move one of her hands to squeeze a little bit, but that's it right now. After a stroke, cardiac arrest, and a loss of pulse for 10 minutes, her family says doctors at Memorial Health revived and stabilized Jensen. Her family set up a GoFundMe to support current costs and long-term therapy when the time comes. It's huge just to know that people are out there supporting as we try to get her into therapy and things. You know. I talked to Dr. Steve Bernacki, a chiropractor who told us Jensen's condition is incredibly rare. Those dissections will oftentimes produce symptoms of headache and neck pain which then obviously will very typically drive people to a doctor's office. Once they have gone to the medical doctor or chiropractor, the likelihood is that, unfortunately, a stroke is going to happen. Sometimes it's as simple as going to a hair salon and having your neck tilted back in that bowl for an extended period of time when washing your hair, or it could just be some horseplay or, or who knows what. We reached out to the chiropractor Jensen visited. He told us he couldn't comment on any of his patients, citing HIPAA. Just a very strange and a rare case to talk yeah. about, but it's frightening for a lot of families. Yeah. Her family is just focused right now on getting her out of the ICU. They hope to have her in rehab sometime in August, but certainly lucky to be alive. Gosh. You don't hear this every day. Rescuers had to save a burglar after he managed to get himself trapped in an AC vent. It happened in a shopping center in DeKalb. Sergeant Brittany Davis was at work when she heard some screams coming from the roof. Next door, little Cecil workers heard the same thing, and it turns out he was in their air vents. Davis called the police when she heard the man saying he was having a panic attack. She was saying that he can't breathe, that he's having a panic attack, um, and of course, like, I was just concerned for him. An unconventional, something we don't deal with every day. I'd say when rescuers finally freed the man, police officers put him in handcuffs and escorted him to an awaiting ambulance. Detectives did not immediately say what charges he'll face or speculate on the motive for entering the building. I'm sure he was happy to be out of there. Well, some of your hit TV shows and movies up for an Emmy. We're going to break down.